Hello again! It's been a while. In case you are watching my video for the first time, I'm Martinez, nice to meet you. I'm a game developer and I'm making Couch Cop puzzle game. It already has a Steam page. I left the link in the description, you can go check it out. Well, boy oh boy, I was working on it since the last devlog. But you know what is the most frustrating? I don't even have anything to show you. <sighs> anyway, I've added a couple of new features to the game. Oh, before we start, one more thing. I hope to finish the demo version and publish it on Steam by the end of the week. Of course, it will be free and you will be able to try it yourself. Ok, so what I've been working on? Well, I've made a UI when the player runs out of time. I've made the obvious feedback, the color saturation decreases once the time is up. It's an easy and simple effect, yet I believe it fits great. How I've done it? Glad you asked. Well, it's a very simple unlit shader. I added additional float property. It has a range from 0 to 1. I call it saturation. In the fragment operation, I made this little fancy calculation of intensity. Ok, what actually matters are these two lines of code. So this line returns the dot product of a saturation constant and a pixel color. If we just return that value as a color, we will get a gray unsaturated color. So we take that unsaturated color and lerp it to the base starting color value. The delta value is the saturation constant that we added to the properties. And that's it, the shader works perfectly. Now I only need to create a render texture and apply it to the raw image in UI. Actually, you can even use the graphics blit function and it will give the same result. So. For the animation, I use this line of code. It updates the value from 0 to 1 and applies to the material saturation parameter. And I believe that's it. Moving on, I also made the main menu design. There is nothing too fancy here. I wanted to keep the initial game UI palette. Also, I wanted to show the factory and the conveyors in the background to represent what the game is all about. Whenever you start the game, the conveyor sets active and the boxes start to move. I run this very simple script. Whenever the box reaches the truck, I change its position back to the conveyor starting point, making it endless. I think it's a bit boring topic, so I will move to the more interesting one. The character selection screen. Initially, I made only two designs. The first design has two tables, representing the character and the grid containing all the available characters. Ok, I didn't like this design because it shows too much on the screen and I hope you will agree. I ended up with this design instead. There is a table in the middle of the screen sharing the same grid for both players. If the second player isn't joined, it shows what to click to join. And if he joins, he can also select the character skin. I'm quite happy with the result. And oh, how do you like the tune that was already playing for some time now? My friend Winston made it. He helps me out with the game soundtrack and the sound effects, which I personally think are awesome. And one more thing, I've also made the save slot selection screen design. And as you can see, there will be two different campaigns for the co-op and solo, meaning there will be different levels for co-op and solo gameplay. And I believe that's it for this video. Till the next one, bye!